everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is about to go insane tomorrow and why y'all should keep it in your watch list i'm also going to address the market today was a pretty good day right i'm going to explain to y'all exactly where i see this market going within the next few days i'm also going to be doing some updates as well on some of the stocks i've mentioned in the past right now before we begin do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to the channel all right so let's get started right off the bat all right so with the spy right over here all right i told y'all this morning for this video who watched the morning video that we were going to run all the way up to 393 dollars and Today, it went only up to $391. Um, is my point of view on the SPY changing right now? Um, are we going to roll over? I think I think that it still got more room to run. Again, I still think that we're going to hit that $393 tomorrow. It's not quite done yet. It's really not. And the structure on the four hour is looking better. I would say it's looking better. As you can see right here, right? This um, very weird and hard to see bullish pennant on here, right? It broke out and broke out again on the smaller time frame. And I think it got, it got more room to run. I don't think this is over yet. I don't think this is a good place to go in short or be extremely bearish. I think that the next few days are going to be very interesting and there is some gaps also on the on the spy itself like the the etf um spy if you look on here right i showed you all this this morning there is a gap right at um right in between here that's what these two white lines represents right so i think i think that it's not just going to hit 393 but maybe on monday it might pull something really epic over the weekend and jump up even higher and then up there when it fills that gap it may get exhausted but as of right now my drawings are still on the chart um i'm still bullish on the market since this morning right i think we're still going to go much higher than it is right now we're gonna see how it looks like in the morning okay anything can happen anything can change the price of the futures can stay flat or we can see a massive gap down and then things may look a little bit different but as of right now um my points of view are staying is staying the same now the stock that is about to go insane tomorrow that stock is gs goldman sachs all right and the reason why i want to share goldman sachs with y'all is for one two three I think three reasons maybe four i think all right so the first reason is because number one it got demolished for quite some time all right number one and number two for those of y'all who have been subscribed to the channel i share this one to y'all uh with y'all for this short right here this waterfall drop i shared it right up here at 314 if you remember it right and i drew this thing right there this uh descending this 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 falling channel right or this descending channel whatever you want to call it right there i drew this thing on here and then it dropped all the way down tested it went sideways and then bounced up right so right now i think that tomorrow we're going to go way up there and we're gonna zoom into the chart and we're gonna go into the 15 minute right and if you look at the 15 minutes and if you look at this section, you can see an ascending triangle on the chart right there, right here. All right, that broke out in the afternoon right over here. But before that even happened, if you zoom in even closer, if you go into the one minute, you can see that there was another bullish pennant in that ascending triangle that also broke out in the afternoon right over here as you can see right there right so the, the structures are looking quite clean um it's all looking very bullish to the long side therefore i think that we're going to go way up to this level right here um 310 maybe a little bit higher 
and retest the 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 long term or I would, yeah i would say the long term line of resistance right up here above 3 chat i think that's going to happen it may happen tomorrow or it may happen by monday it really it really depends on how fast the move is but it's curling right if you look on the 4 hour chart there is a lot of buyers holding the stock up. They're not trying to let this one go. Long wicks at the bottom, right? So I definitely think that it can move big tomorrow. So watch this one for an insane move um, tomorrow. Now, there is another stock. I know I said this stock is about to go insane, but there is another one. And this one is looking decent. We're gonna look at Lulu. All right, now the reason why I wanna share Lulu with y'all in this video is because there is a bow flag on here right there it's right over here and it broke out this morning well before noon i would say it broke out before noon right at 280 bucks right watch this one for a long other way up to also 310 all right, same price. I think go, yeah, yeah. Also 300 it's just like Goldman Sachs. So watch these two stocks for a potential run. Um, the, the structure is looking very clean. It looks like P Diddy, uh, which I've shared with y'all in the past, right? Similar structure, so yeah, watch those. Now let's do some updates. Um, the first one that I'm going to be updating is BYND. And congrats to anybody who took BYND. I made like two videos about this thing the night before and also this morning. I told y'all to watch it for a potential long in the circle and it's going there. I think it's going to get there. Um, I don't know how fast it's going to get there. I don't. This was a pretty fast move. Good. Now, I think, will, will it do, will it produce a similar move tomorrow, Friday, just to cap it off? Maybe, right? Could it be slow and go to only 33 and then when there's the gap fill of the spy to 400 it could jump to maybe 35 or even 40 dollars right it could happen it could happen right but this structure right here very clean and if you're holding this one this one is still a hold for me all right i'm not changing my thoughts and opinions my drawings are still on there and i think i think 40 dollars is a real possibility for beyond meets all right now um the other stock that i talked about in this morning was target and target target did pretty well um target is moving according to the drawing on the chart right this was the drawing that i put out for y'all this morning so friday it could go all the way up to actually 151 test it right and then if there is no if there is no gap up at all if there's some bearishness with the spy for some reason over the weekend um it could like pull back a little bit right but if there isn't and this one follows the market then they could just break right through and jump up to like 157 on monday right but for this week for friday this is what i'm seeing again i haven't touched by the drones on here so congrats to anybody who made some money on that too um the next one this one was kind of disappointing the last stock that i talked about in this well not the last stock. i talked about four stocks jd was one stock that I talked about this morning, wanted to watch it for a potential long. Um, it had a little bit of a spike in the morning and then it just stayed flat, right? Eventually, maybe next week we will see that one hit $68. Maybe, maybe. Um, but for now, it's just it's just sitting there <laughs> right now. Um, the last stock that I talked about this morning was Walmart. Yeah. And Walmart is, yeah, this is what I was worried about. As you can see, I told y'all, again, I'm going to pin the video over here at the top corner, right? That way y'all can watch it. Um, I don't know how long it's going to keep cooking in that red box. I have no clue, right? The sellers had me worried because it's just not the volume, the way the candles are shaped. The bullish pennant is there, yes, but I considered everything else before I... Um, make a move or before I even make these videos right and before I tell you anything about my thoughts and opinions when is it going to get here it could get there by that time actually within two weeks um, it's not as rapid because the it's just 
the volume is just too light. But long-term investors love this and I think it's still bullish and I think that it can still climb. Um, if you have the patience for it, um, it may pay off in the future for Walmart, all right? So that's the recap on all of them. And one more, one more. We're gonna talk about one more. We're going to talk about GME. Now, with GME, with GME, I, I told y'all multiple times that it was going to go towards the black line and then maybe even break it. Well, it went towards the neckline from the highs of like 120. I think I started making a video on this above 125, right? And then yesterday, it formed this structure right here for a day trade to the downside. Um, some people made money on it. Again, uh, at this level, to be greedy or to not be greedy, it's a very difficult choice to make as a trader, right? That's why I always say when something is moving in your favor, consider taking money off the table as it moves in your favor. And then they announced a, I think it was a four to one split after hours and the stock kind of spiked and got choppy today. All right. Uh, where is it going to go next? I don't know. All right. Am I trading this? No, I'm definitely not. Um, is it going to break the neckline in the future? Maybe, but this is one, this is one variation that can be quite ruthless for short sellers. If you, if you hold through the neckline in anticipation of the breakdown of the neckline, all right? Because I've seen this before. Um, multiple stocks have done this where they show the head and shoulders, right? And then they just stop right there or they even go a little bit lower below just to trap shorts. It's very nasty. It's very unfortunate, but it happens. All right. So that's that's the recap on all of these stocks. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel a lot. It allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on future uploads. If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community, you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. If you haven't added me on social media yet, you can find me at Paul Nguma and at Bear Knowledge Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, there are some basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below, step one to step three. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get some free stocks signing up with Weeble using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Guma, with an analogy lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.